Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. The Zelda Ocarina of Time demo from Space World 97 is now playable. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, Nintendo had an annual trade show. It was called Space World and it was held between 1989 and 2001. In 1997, Nintendo showcased a demo for The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, which you can kind of see right there. Now, the official game was released in 1998, a full year later, and the official game looked a little bit different from that initial demo. Now, that initial demo was thought to have been lost to time. What ends up happening sometimes with these demos is that they're installed on a development cartridge. Development cartridges aren't really permanent things. Developers will install a game on them, test them out, then erase them and install a completely different game and then test that out. They kind of get recycled here. And that is kind of what happened with this demo. But earlier on this year in January, so almost a year ago now, well, there was an F-Zero X development cartridge. They dug into the details and they actually found code for the original Zelda 64 from Space World 97. Now, unfortunately, the data that was found was not a complete ROM. The data was kind of all over the place and fragmented and the developers had to work throughout the year to piece everything back together, throw on a few of their own interpretations to make it as close as possible to the original Zelda Space World 97 experience. And they succeeded. Now I have no idea how long this site's gonna be up for before Nintendo, I don't know, maybe tries to take it down. So I'll leave a link in the description below here. Uh, just a point of advice, this is not a complete ROM. This is a patch to an existing ROM. So you will need a copy of the Ocarina of Time, preferably .n64 or .z64 format. And there are two different ways to patch the ROM. I'll show you how to do them here. There is a step-by-step -step instruction on this site that's very simple and straightforward. So the first thing that you're going to need is a copy of the Ocarina of Time in ROM format. The second thing to do here is click on this blue button that says patch and you can download the patch from this website and it's 24.5 megabytes. Now there's two different files inside the RAR file that I just downloaded and I only really need one of them. Double check your Ocarina of Time ROM if it ends in .z64. You will need this file here, Big Endian. And if it ends in .n64, you will need this file here that says byte swap. Once you've extracted the file that you need, go back to the GitHub page under patching a ROM. It says open the patcher tool here. So click on that blue here button. Now click the browse button beside ROM file and locate your Ocarina of Time ROM and then press open. And then the next thing here to do is click browse beside the patch file and then open up that patch file that you just downloaded. Since my ROM ends in .n64, I do need the byte swapped version of the patch. So that's what I'm gonna select. Once I do that, I'll click open here. And then it gives me a nice green check mark to let me know that everything is okay. From here, just click apply patch and you're pretty much good to go. You can now save the patched version of Ocarina of Time, which is Space World 97 version. At the end of the day here, I have no idea how long this is gonna be available for, but I will say I am completely fascinated with stuff that's unreleased that doesn't normally see the light of day. Anyways, that is all I've got for this video. Let me know your thoughts about Zelda Space World 97 in the comments below. Are you going to try it out? Have you already tried it out? And are you interested in this stuff too? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.